Hi, I'm Danny Said, the Mayor of Randwick City Council. I would like to pay my respects to the Bidjigal people who are the traditional custodians of the land where we meet today and pay my respects to Elders both past and present. This is King Louis XVI pointing to La Comte de la Perouse at the very beginning of his voyage in 1785 showing the map of the world and really interestingly he's pointing at Australia and saying this is where you are going to head. So you couldn't get a more potent symbol of this particular connection from where we stand all the way back to France. When you're French, you feel welcome in Randwick. Because when you come from the city, first you hit, you know, the Frenchman's road. <laughs> then you pass by the French school. And then, of course, you arrive in Botany Bay and you see the La Perouse Museum. It's true, this is really the, the core of the French community in Sydney is living in Randwick. So it, it makes the relationship we have with the city council very special. We've dedicated this museum with the help of the French government in 1988. So it really does mean a lot to us and by having that connection to France through the museum has also brought a connection through the cultures and the people of France in Randwick City. My favourite aspect, I think, of the French characteristics and what I love about it is that it's such a culture based on democracy. Liberté, fraternité, égalité, those tenets of democracy. And I think that interest in the human spirit, and which led to the enlightenment and the love of science, actually drove the La Perouse expedition outwards across the globe with their hunger to explore, to document and to learn. It wasn't until decades later that they realised this was where the last place was, that La Perouse was sighted before he disappeared into the Pacific in that very year, 1788. La Perouse Museum has five main themes that we tell that go all the way from the traditional custodians and science, the environment, and obviously French is a really important one, and that drives a lot of our programs. So we do temporary exhibitions, we do public programming around French music, about really important objects in the collection, and that's a main sort of focus that we do for our French communities as well as for the wider public. And it's just wonderful. I come down to the museum, you know, a couple of times a week and just see who comes to visit. And it's amazing the number of overseas visitors we have. He is so revered, La Perouse, that people come to, to pay homage to him. Ah, about Albi. So Albi uh, was the birthplace of La Perouse. So this is the reason why Albi is now the sister city of uh, Randwick. La cité qu'il a vu naître va d'ailleurs fêter le 31 juillet 2020 les 10 ans de son inscription sur la liste du patrimoine mondial de l'humanité. Je suis ici dans le musée La Pérouse, à côté du square Botany Bay. Je suis donc un petit peu avec vous en Australie, à moins que ce ne soyez vous qui soyez avec nous en France. The meaningful part of all this is that you don't realise how many French people there are until you go to parks and, and playgrounds and they're playing with their kids and everyone's talking French. Then you realise there is a lot of people around. There's French pastisseries, there's French bakeries, which, as you can see, I'm not going to complain about. The French population is growing. The school has definitely brought a lot of people on board. The Lycée Condorcet was created in 1965. Now we have about 1,070 students with 130 staff. The students here, they follow the French curriculum. They know the history of France, so they know this uh, end of monarchy, which is very important for us. Bastille Day means a lot to the French people because it's a national celebration. It's a day off in the middle of the summer, so people basically are watching the military parade. You have the Tour de France running. And of course, you have different type of entertainments that are organized by city councils. In Bramwick City Council, Bastille Day is a very important, it's one of the highlights on our calendar. 
We always try to provide enough entertainment for the residents of Randwick City Council, but also for the French residents so they can feel a little bit of being at home. So Bastille Day is a great opportunity for the museum to bring forth its stories. So we work with French business people, with performers, with artists, and we show the whole gamut of French culture, of which we know is world renowned. And they all assemble here at the headland of La Perouse. So it's a place where we have the tricolour flags flying right across the headland. It's a great festival. And you'll hear French being spoken here much more than English, which is just such a wonderful thing to hear. It's a real community. And since the school is a big part of this community, yes, we are very linked with the council, with the neighbourhood and everything. It's just, it brings all of the community together, all of Randwick City. On behalf of Randwick City Council, I want to wish everyone amongst the French community a really happy Bastille Day. Alors, je vous souhaite à toutes et à tous un bon 14 juillet, mais euh, dès que possible, les Albigeoises et les Albigeois seront enchantés de pouvoir accueillir leurs amis de Randwick pour visiter ensemble Albi et le musée La Pérouse. Fête Nationale or La 14 Juillet, however you say it, we welcome you here on that day and every other day. We are proud to call you uh, our friends. Chers élèves, je vous invite tous à venir célébrer la Fête Nationale uh, puisque nous, serons, nous aurons la chance d'être en Australie uh, pour le 14 juillet. Long live the friendship between our two nations. Vive la République, vive la France et vive l'amitié franco-australienne.